uh, the U.S. Treasury Department has finally answered a request from Bloomberg for documents pertaining to securities owned by Citi. Suzanne O'Halloran has more on these developments, which are raising more concerns about the Freedom of Information Act when the request was intended uh, to do the opposite. That's right, Margaret. And this was an effort started by our late colleague Mark Pittman back in 09. And the results today are frankly quite disappointing. Here's how things have played out with respect to Citigroup. Back in 09, Pittman was simply asking the U.S. Treasury Department to disclose some specifics relating to the bailout of major security company or major uh, U.S. securities firms, financial firms during the financial crisis. Now, City, uh, AIG and Bank of America fell under his request. Those did not apply to these specifics, but Citi did. After 20 months of back and forth, we finally got an official response from the Treasury Department giving us those documents. What we have is 560 emails of basically irrelevant information, back and forth conversation among Treasury Department officials, really giving none of the information that Mark Pittman asked. This is raising a lot of concerns and questions about whether the Freedom of Information Act, Margaret, is what it's supposed to be. So has the Treasury responded to some of these criticisms? Well, the Justice Department uh, has responded and said essentially that the Freedom of Information Act is really uh, an ongoing process. And as we've seen from this particular example, that Bloomberg News did not get the information that it was requesting. Now, again, uh, there are some other specifics in terms of legal tactics. Uh, people not, and organizations not satisfied with the Freedom of Information Act, Margaret, can actually file an appeal and it can make its all its way all, the way all the way to the Supreme Court. We are expecting more developments in the coming days on this particular situation. The Treasury Department also said they didn't want to disclose all the information for securities concerns, but again, very disappointing, and members of Congress are speaking out about it as well.